Good morning, my name is Steve. And I'm Michelle. Alright, so now we are in a very famous yeah. temple in Ipoh, which is called the Nam Tian Dong. So what is the special uh, to uh, attract so many people to come here? It is a very good question indeed. Yeah. So as you can see at the back there, the, wow. the Buddha face. So I'm really excited to show you guys more about this temple, shall we? Oh, so let's check it out. Nam Tian Tong Temple, as known as Cave of the Southern Sky, is located in between Sam Po Tong Cave and Ling Shen Tong Cave. It is a cave that hosts the various Buddhist figures from the Southern Sky, as illustrated with the various colorful personalities and characters at the lower portion of the temple and tree section. This is the Taoist temple in its nature. Whenever you mention Nam Tian Tong, you will automatically associate it with the name of Sam Po Tong, a cave that is right beside Nam Tian Tong. Sam Po Tong is said to be one of the biggest caves temple in the country, and it is an impressive work of art with various statues of the Buddha. According to the legend, this cave was discovered by a monk from China. He decided to make it his home and a place for meditation, and he was staying here for 20 years until his death. Kelly's castle was meant to be a home away from home for Scottish planter William Kelly Smith in the 20th century. Being far away from home, Kelly desired his new residence to be reminiscent of his home back in Scotland. Construction of this unique castle began in 1915. However, it became an abrupt halt with Kelly's sudden death in 1926. The solitary castle looks almost surreal in these wild plantations of Perak. It projects a strong personality and an aura of mystery. The famous Ipoh Clock Tower, or also known as Birch Memorial Clock Tower, is a historical landmark that was built to commemorate the life of James W. W. Birch, Perak's first British resident, who was murdered at Pasir Salak. The clock tower was erected in 1917 and it is dedicated to the Malay warriors who murdered him. The four sides of the first level of the tower exhibit statuses that represent loyalty, justice, fortitude and patience, the four virtues of British administration. So now we are in the street in the Ipoh and we are trying the local and famous food. They call a chicken, nga choy chicken. This is what we call it. And this is the British part and this is the chicken. Yes. So, Michelle, why don't you start with your chicken? Yes. Looking good. Mmm, very juicy and delicious. Nice. Is it? So let's try the na choy as they say. It looks thick compared with the KL one. I heard they have a better water here. Right? Yeah. Okay. Right. It's really better than the KL one. It's thicker. It's really juicy like what you say. The most representative food in Ipoh must be the chicken rice. There are so many chicken rice shops in Ipoh, but the most famous one will be Onki Chicken Rice. Onki Chicken Rice is well known for its tender chicken meat and freshness of the chicken. Bean sprouts is served together with the chicken as well. Chicken rice and bean sprouts can be seen as the best match in Ipoh.
Hi, Hi morning. morning. So today we are in Gua Tumpurong yes. and I can't wait to show you guys more about this cave. So yeah. let's go. Gua Tumpurong, the largest natural limestone cave in Peninsula Malaysia. People believe that Gua Tumpurong exists in 8,000 years ago. After walking a while in Gua Tumpurong, I'm so amazed by the creation of nature. As you can see behind me, all of this I just made naturally without any people doing anything behind it. Gua Tempurong is approximately one and a half kilometers long. It comprises of five huge domes with ceilings resembling coconut shells. Each of these domes have different calcium formations and marble. They are existing in different temperatures and water levels. Exactly. So as you can see at the behind there, they have some hawker store at the behind also. Yeah. Just for the visitors and the tourists when they are hungry, so they can feed their stomach. But remember to throw your rubbish away. <laughs> Alright? So we really can't wait yes. to go to cool our body down. So shall we? Yes, let's go! Let's go! In the park, there's the paved stairway on the left bank to walk to some height beside the waterfall. There is a suspension bridge where you can view the Portion Falls at its full glory. 